Hey, what's up? It is I, Goku, from Dragon Ball Z. Anyways, what's up guys? I'm really lazy today. So, I'm sitting down and talking to you about something in my life. If you're new here and you don't know me, I'm Sam, I'm FTM Trans. That means I was born a girl, but I'm now a dude. I transitioned and did all that great stuff. I've always liked girls my whole life. I'm straight and this is where the funny part comes in. So sit down, grab yourself some popcorn or don't because the video's not that long. I'm trying too hard to be funny. So let's just, let's just forget it. So growing up, I was a very confused child because I'm trans. So I didn't actually transition until I was 16. So I didn't become a boy until I was 16 to put it in simpler terms. But I knew that I always liked girls and I thought that this was a phase and I thought that it was like not gonna last. And I thought that I was weird for liking girls when I was a girl. It was sad. That's what society does. They make you think you're straight. And if you think that you're not straight, then you feel like a piece of shit and you want to die. So anyways, when I was in middle school, when I was in like sixth grade, I started. And I thought eighth graders were really like big and bad and like cool and tough and they had their life together because they're eighth graders, which doesn't even make sense because they're fucking like 14. When I was in sixth grade, I was going through this phase that I thought was at the moment. And the phase was that I wanted to be a guy. And the phase was that I really, really liked girls and I was like attracted to girls when I was like 12. Even when I was like eight, I knew that I liked girls. I don't know, it was weird, okay? I Even when I was like five, I was I loved girls. I'm sorry girls are girls are lovable. So in sixth grade I was just like yeah, it's fine. Like I like girls. It'll probably go away I don't know why I feel like this whatever. I know I'm gonna like dudes and shit like that So when I looked into the future of me in eighth grade, I told myself this I literally sat in my room and Multiple times daydreaming and I was like when you know when I'm in eighth grade I'm probably gonna be like the popular kid because I was hated in school everyone made fun of me I fantasized that I would be the popular kid and I fantasized that I would like girl clothes I fantasized that I would like girl makeup shit. I fantasized that I would be hot I was like I'm probably gonna eventually have a boyfriend and it's gonna be so cool and I'm gonna be so in love and he's gonna be so cute and I just like told myself that stuff <clears throat> and it's funny because like Look at me. <laughs> so I think the reason I fantasize about this stuff because I just want to be normal. Like I really just want to live a normal life, be straight and cis. People in school would call me lesbian and call me all different types of names because I was quiet and I I guess when you're quiet that means you're gay. So if you're quiet and you, and you think you're straight, I don't know, you might be gay. So then eighth grade rolls around and guess what? My problem got even bigger. I had crushes on millions of girls and I couldn't stop and I would always just, I loved girls. When there was a hot girl and she walked by, sorry Sheila, I stared at her, like I thought she was hot, like I just, I wanted to kiss her. And if I saw a guy, I'd just be intimidated because I felt like they felt like I thought they were cute and I didn't want that because I'm like, that's fucking gross, like no bro, I would never find you cute. That's just how my mindset was, it was really weird. So after my problem was getting worse, I was like, okay, you need to stop being a fucking lesbian because that's gross. <laughs> So I forced myself to like guys. Disclaimer, I've never dated a guy, ever. Never kissed one. Oh wait, that's a lie. I've kissed my friends. I've kissed my guy friends, I'm sorry. But it was, it was all for fun. But I've never dated a guy during what I'm about to explain. In eighth grade, I decided that I should try to start living that fantasy I had when I first started middle school. So I bought girly clothes. I started to try to wear makeup. I put efforts into my looks and all that stuff. And I forced myself to like a guy. The dude was good looking. He was definitely good looking, but I had girlfriends. So they'd be like, Sam, who do you have a crush on, blah, blah, blah. So I would just be like, Nick, or whatever the fuck his name was. I don't even remember his name. And they'd be like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. And I'm pretty sure he was popular. I don't fucking know. It didn't work because I was just like, yeah, like he's so hot. I love that. But then in reality, I had a crush on the girl who was asking me about the guy. It was just a mess. I feel, it was just like, it was just a mess. <laughs> I feel so sad for myself. So then at the end of eighth grade, we had a stupid dance. And you know what those stupid dances mean? You have to wear something formal. And this is when I knew that I thought that I was a lesbian. <laughs> my friends were going to this dance and I was like, yeah, I wanna go and have fun with my friends, you know? Try to get out there because I was never the type of kid to actually get out there. And I wanted to have those memories for when I'm older. So I go shopping for a dress. That was the worst thing in the world. I've never felt more shitty about myself than when I had to go shop for a dress and try dresses on. I really, really, really tried to like them. I really tried. Like when I say I tried, I really tried. I was like, damn, you look good. But in the back of my mind, I was like, no, you fucking don't, you're not, you're a fucking dude. Like, why are you wearing a dress? It was just, it was a fucking mess. So then I bought a dress, whatever. The night comes where I had to go to the thing. 
and I had an anxiety attack and I was just like I don't want to go I don't want to be seen I don't want to do this I don't want to do that because I just I was dysphoric and I didn't know what that was so I was like I didn't want guys to look at me I don't want to guys I didn't want girls to think that I'm a lesbian I just I didn't want anyone to think anything I don't want anyone to know anything I just wanted to come off as a quiet straight girl who doesn't do who doesn't who minds her own business and I mean I did except for the people who called me a lesbian. But it's really funny because now the people who called me a lesbian and the people who made fun of me in school try, or actually they do follow me on like Instagram, and I think it's fucking hilarious. They can suck it. You can just suck, just suck it, honestly. I'm sorry. I did a live broadcast on YouTube the other day and a lot of you guys said you're like 14 or 15 and I really, I didn't know that. I thought you guys were like 20 and 25. I should probably stop making adult jokes. Probably. So that happened and I had an anxiety attack and then I wanted to fucking die and then that's when I realized that I thought that I was a lesbian. So moving forward to ninth grade, I still liked girls and at that point I accepted it. I was like, you know what? Just fucking forget it. I like boobs. I'm sorry. I, I, I like women. That not, not that all women have to have boobs. Don't, just don't start that right now. But that's how, that, just, okay. But anyways, moral of the story, I like women and I'm fucking trans. Let's go a little bit back, because I forgot to mention this, so let's go back to like middle school, elementary school. Like 5th to 8th grade. I used to have a lot of girlfriends, because, like friends who are girls, because I, I just, that's how I was. I didn't really make friends with guys. I mean, I did have guy friends, but I didn't, like, I didn't hang out with my guy friends and do sleepovers, because that shit was like weird when you're 10. Whenever my friends and I would have sleepovers, the girls, I was like really excited. I just, I was so excited. Because one, it's fun when you're a kid, it's fucking fun. But two, I just got to spend time with girls. And I don't know, I, I'm just realizing it now. How excited I was to just spend time and be around girls and like, look at them. When I was like 10. That's weird. That's kind of gross. That's really weird. Ew. I didn't think anything sexual when I was 10 because I just I wasn't like that. I just thought that they were very pretty. So I guess 10 year old me knew. 10 year old me, 8 year old me, 5 year old me knew that I didn't like dudes. But I do have one question for you guys. That's the end of my story times, but I really, I came out two years ago on YouTube and I really, 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 I really do. And I have thought about it. I, just, I want to share pre-transition pictures so bad. I really want to show you guys my pre-transition pictures. I'm comfortable with it. And I, I really just want to show the progress, but a tiny bit of me is a little bit scared just because I don't know why. Cause it's like, it's not, it's a scary thing. Let's be real. But what do you guys think? But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave me a comment. Tell me if I should post pre-transition pictures. But anyways, I love you guys, and I will see you on Sunday. Peace. Oh.